Hi friends, my name is Miss Bailey and for tonight's bedtime story we'll be reading Oh, The Places You'll Go, illustrated and written by Dr. Seuss and it was published by um, Random House Publishers. Oh, The Places You'll Go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good streets. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Hmm. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry. Don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Hmm. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar high flights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you, wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true. The bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on and you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lightened, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin, do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left? Should you turn right? Or turn right three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go back around and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race, down long wiggled rows at a breaknecking pace, and grind on miles across the weirdest, wildest place, headed, I fear, toward a most unuseless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, waiting for the wind to fly a kite, waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls or another chance, everyone is just waiting. No, 
that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flopping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done, there are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with that ball will be make you the winningest winner of all. You'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some things down the road between hire and yawn that can scare you so much that you won't want to go on. But on you will go through the weather be, be foul. On you will go through your enemy's prowl. On you will go through the hack and crocs howl. Onward up many frightening creeks, through your arms may get sore, and your sneakers may leak. On you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, Step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. And never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot from your left. And you will succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 90 and a quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name. Buxabum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai or Ally Van Allen O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this fun and different sort of story time. And actually, me and Miss Afton have a big announcement for you. So let's grab her real quick. Hi, friends. So Miss Bailey is right, and she picked tonight's story for a very special reason. So this month, around Thanksgiving, I am going to be leaving the Alexander Hamilton Library. So I'm going to be going on a big journey of my own in a bigger library system, and I'm very excited for the new places that I'll go, but I'm very sad to be saying goodbye. I'm also very excited because Miss Bailey is going to be taking over as children's specialist. So you have lots of wonderful story times and music and programs ahead of you this winter with Miss Bailey. I know I'm excited to see what she'll do and all the places that you'll go together. Are you excited too, Miss Bailey? I'm very excited. Yeah, so we hope that you'll join us through this month as we keep having our special programs and we hope that you'll join us when Miss Bailey starts as Children's Specialist after Thanksgiving this year. So have a good night, friends, and we hope that you enjoyed this evening's bedtime story. Sleep tight. Bye.